Hey guys, today a tip that uh, may or may not save your images one day. Now, having a good backup strategy is incredibly important for digital files because if it's gone, in most cases it's really gone. You can use image recovery software, but trust me, it's, it's a disaster area. Now, our backup strategy is normally that we use one backup offsite, which we update like once a month. We use one backup on a network uh, attached storage unit, a NAS, and we use one backup that is actually the one I work on, and that's an ASATA tower. Now, during copying this weekend, we actually lost one session because one of our uh, backups actually crashed. And how do you get your images back? Well, with data recovery, it's often a little bit of a gamble. Now, let's say that didn't work, and you have something like this in Lightroom. Now, this will panic you probably because you see all these question marks for all your years of images. This is terrible, right? Well, luckily, this is just one of my drives and now turned off. So don't worry, guys, I still have all my images. Um, but how do you get the images back? Because if you look in, uh, in Lightroom, you can still see that we have pretty high resolution pre previews, right? Now, when you import your files, you can actually put it like this. You can say build smart previews, standard or one-on-one. -on -one. Now, if you want to make absolutely sure that you get the highest quality image back, if in case of a disaster, use one-on-one. -on -one. I normally use uh, standard because, as mentioned before, we have a pretty good backup strategy. So the images are still here, but where are they? Well, they're actually buried inside your Lightroom catalog. Now, this is also very, very important why you should store your Lightroom catalog on a different drive. We use an SSD drive on the computer, which is totally separate from where we store the images. So let's see how we get them back. And I will show you two setups. The first one is full manual. The second one is via an amazing plugin. So these two images I want to get back and I have to previews. And I will go here and I will go into file, export as catalog. Now I will store it somewhere on my drive and give it a name. Let's say a temp. And it's very important, include available previews. So export catalog. There we go. Of course, it didn't find the original images because my drive is offline at the moment. Press OK. And now you go into that folder. There we go. And what you can now actually see is a previews and a smart previews. OK. Let's go into the previews. Show package contents. And you see the two images here. And it's a DNG, so you can just open it up in Photoshop. There we go. Say open image. And here we go. And now you can store it. Of course, it's the resolution of the preview. So it's not as big as the original one unless you use one on one previews. But this is a lot of work, right? And the main problem is if you need to get a lot of images back, uh, let's say that this was reality, that will take a lot of time and will probably cost you, uh, well, I don't even want to think about that one. So there's also a, a plugin. And this is actually a pretty good one. Now, if you go to this site, and I will show it to you in the bottom, you can see that there's a plugin called Jeffrey's Extract Cached Image Previews. And this is awesome. You just download it and put it in your plugins folders in Lightroom. And now the only thing you have to do is you select the images. And you go to File. And you go to Plugin Extras. Extract Preview Images. Now, where do you want it to go? Well, let's put it in this folder. Display thumbnails, re-inject metadata. Okay, no problem. And you can also do consider only photos whose master image file is missing. That's a pretty handy if, for example, one drive is missing or you have several drives and you don't know where the images are gone because you deleted them by accident. And begin extraction. Now, this is a lot faster, right? And it shows you the resolution also. So, First, make sure you have a good backup system because this is a last resort. You won't get the original images back, guys. Even if you store one-on-one -on -one previews, it's not as good as the original. But if you have to choose between seeing them never again 
or getting the images back via your previews from Lightroom, I think this is a pretty good solution. But again, make sure that you store your images on several locations and make sure you have a good backup strategy. And again, one of the most important things, make sure that your catalog is on a different drive from the drive where your images are. And if you make a backup of your catalog, also spread it out over several disks. So, thank you, and I hope this will help some people who are maybe experiencing some real panic.